Well, go on, my people. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Hey, listen, 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 listen. Today gonna be a little bit different. We gonna have some fun today, okay? So I want y'all to screen record this. I want y'all to record this. I want y'all to, because we gonna have a little fun today, all right? So we're gonna talk about psychology today. We're going to talk about psychology today. We It's, it's going to get a little dark. You know, we have a lot of Scorpio energy coming in. And uh, I wanted to talk about, you know, a little bit of darkness. You know, like how to get your boo to think about you. Like we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna go over there. You know, y'all know I'm a Scorpio. So I'm on that Scorpio Libra cusp. Well, I like to play like that. <laughs> me, something about me. I like to play like that. So hold on. Let me see how much charge I got. I got to get my charger. Hold on, y'all. I got to get my charger before before we start. I got to get my charger, but we're going to have a little fun today, okay? We're going to talk about how to get people to think about you. We're going to talk about how to get people, you know, obsessed with you. Like, in the most, in the most, in the most, in the most, uh, in the most highly vibrational way. But we're going to have a little fun, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, 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 you know, sometimes we want things and we got to understand that human nature, all right? So hold on, let me, I got to move this around. We got to understand human nature, but you know, I had to come on here and see what's up with y'all. How y'all doing today? You feel me? We having a little fun today. We feel have a little fun today. We feel have a little fun today. Hopefully this can stay like this. All right. So we're going to have a little fun today. Okay. And today we are going to talk about like, like psychology. So one thing about me that y'all don't know, but before I started doing spirituality videos, I actually used to make videos about how to get them obsessed with you, how to get them to like you, how to get this person to talk to you. I used to do them kind of videos like in high school because I'm really good at psychology and understanding body language. If you understand um, Chinese astrology, I'm the sign of the cat, or some people may say the rabbit. I'm the sign of the cat, the rabbit. The sign of the cat and the rabbit is very psychological, okay? So, here's the one thing that I want to tell you. No matter whoever you like, no matter whatever, whoever it is you like, you got to understand that you have to let them know that you don't need them. And you have to be willing to walk away at any point. You have to, no matter if you, and, and, and honestly, I think this is just with everything. No matter what you're doing, if you like someone, if you want, if you want to date someone, if you want to be with someone... You have to be okay within your spirit to walk away at any point. If you don't have that level of detachment, it's not going to work, sweetheart. I'm sorry. It's just not going to work. You got to have a level of detachment when it comes to getting the person that you want. Because if you're overly attached to them, they have your power. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're overly attached to them, they, you, you already lost, baby. You feel me? You already lost. So that's why it's important that you always stay focused on yourself. Okay. Now, another thing, um, we always talk about hot and cold, hot and cold in order to get somebody to like you in order to get, you got to be able to, to give them a little bit of love and back up. And the best way I like to think about that is just like, think about it like a plant. If I plant a seed, you know, you don't want to oversaturate it. You don't want to oversaturate it with, with water. You don't want to overwater it because overwatering it actually causes it to die. So when you like someone, you water it a little bit and then you step away. You feel me? You water it a little bit and then you step away. You can't be out here texting them all day, every day. That's how they get jaded. That's how they get tired of you. And last time I checked, we royalty, right? Are y'all royalty? I just, I just want to know. Do y'all view yourself as royalty? Do y'all view yourself as royalty? I, I just, I just, I just want to know. I just want to know. I'm trying to read the comments. I'm trying to see if y'all view yourself as royalty. Yeah, right? Royalty don't chase. <laughs> Something about me, royalty don't chase. Royalty don't chase. Everybody comment below, royalty don't chase. Everybody comment below, royalty do not chase. Royalty does not chase. And once you understand that, you'll be like, you know what? I'm too royal to be chasing. You feel me? She said, Jace. You know, okay, so now, after after you realize you plant the seed, okay? Another thing, too, is just, you know, um, being on your purpose actually allows you to be more attractive, okay? 
being on your purpose actually makes you more attractive. If you are just out here chasing people, just trying to get a girl, just trying to get a boy or whatever, you're not going to be that attractive. But if you're actually working on something, you're going to be so attractive because whoever that you're with or whoever that you like, they're going to compete with your purpose. Meaning that if today they're like, oh, I want to hang out with you. Check, just, just listen to me now. I'm giving you game. Okay. Now, listen, l look at me. Look at me. I'm giving you game. Trust me. You want to take it. You know what I'm saying? Now, if. If you have a purpose and somebody calls you, they're like, hey, I want to hang out with you. I want to hang out with you. And you're like, no, I have to do this for my job. I have to do this. I have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because you have something to do. You know what I'm saying? Because you have something to do, it makes them want to be with you. Remember that. Because you have something to do, it makes them want to be with you. Okay? So a lot of y'all are out here just trying to chase people, trying to get a boo. Well, really, you need to get a purpose and then the booze are going to follow. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we be out here chasing the wrong things, you know? Your royalty, we don't wonder why they ghost us. Um, First of all, they didn't ghost us, sweetheart. They, they, they didn't ghost us. They didn't ghost you, okay? Yo, higher self... <laughs> Check me out now. This you gotta change narratives in your head. Let me tell y'all something. Let me. This is the art of revision. Okay, the art of revision is taking something that has happened in the past and changing it to what you want it to be. Okay, so you didn't get ghosted, boo boo. You didn't get ghosted. You didn't get ghosted. Your higher self removed them because they did it. You know what I'm saying? Your higher self did that, baby. Your higher self did that. Okay. Period. You know, and that's another thing. When people, when people, you need to always have your hand on your, on your, on your, on your scissors to cut. You all, listen to me. You always got to have your, listen, listen, listen. Okay, listen. You always got to have your scissors ready to cut somebody when they don't follow the rules. If they don't appreciate you, baby, snip, snip, snip. <laughs> let me, let me, let me say that. <laughs> If they don't appreciate you, hmm, snip, snip, snip. You say, yo, Sticks, what's up? What's up? Now, I would love for y'all to ask questions because I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just chilling here. I'm having fun. You know what I'm saying? We dropped some new music recently. Let me play that for y'all. We dropped some new music recently. I'm here answering questions though. You know, we having fun out here. I'm here to, I'm here to kick it with y'all. You feel me? I'm here to give you whatever it is that you ask about. What's up, man? What's up, my girl? What's up, man? I'm so happy to see you live. Hey, everybody, comment Valentina. I got to scream real quick. Mm -mm. Don't get emotional. Let's just take it slow. You the one I want, you the one I want. Let's go, you know this cuz. All right, anyways. Anyways, yeah, that's ro that's that's Valentina. It's happening. Okay. You have saved so many souls, you are so blessed. Ashe, listen, I'm just doing what, what my destiny is. I'm doing what my destiny is. That's all I'm doing. I'm following my destiny. Me and my twin flame going through it. Baby, listen, 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 listen. I don't do none of that twin flame stuff. I'm sorry. I don't do none of that twin flame stuff. It's just a dangerous game. That twin flame stuff is just... That twin flame stuff is just a dangerous game. <laughs> you be out here calling somebody toxic, your twin flame. It's like, no, really, they just toxic. And it's given. You know what I mean? No, 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 baby. No, 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 baby. They're not your twin flame. They're just mirroring you. That's it. That's called narcissism. <laughs> Listen, they're not your twin flame. They're just a narcissist mirroring you. And I'm not saying that to nobody. I'm just telling jokes. Listen, I'm not saying that to nobody. I'm just, I'm just telling jokes. You feel me? I'm just telling jokes. I'm just telling jokes. Very much narcissist. Yeah. New album coming. Yeah. Yeah, are you still doing numerology? No, I'm not doing no more reading. 
you know i'm not doing no more readings i told you i was gonna be for a short period of time i was gonna help whoever needed help but after that that's it it's just me free free <laughs> listen i come on here every day you do tarot cards nah that's your music yes it is this is all for love this is all for i was hoping that this what's your favorite book mm. the neville goddard book we li i'm answering questions skincare routine i use dermalogica Mommy. I like thinking grow rich. How do we get let me turn this down? I can't you know so I can't think when music loud. <laughs> uh why is it so hard to detach? Because you're attached. You know what I'm saying? Um which one which one Neville Goddard has many? I have I actually have the Neville Goddard collection with all his books in it. How do we get to the music? The link is in the bio click sticks his music. Where's your music posted? The link is in my bio click sticks his music. How do you get through it all on your own? Who said I do it on my own? I have over over 500,000 people on here. We have over 500,000 people on here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make it worth it. What you talking about? I do this alone. I don't do this alone. I do. I have my ancestors. You know what I'm saying? Thank God I have my ancestors. I praise, I praise, praise to my ancestors for always being here for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you're dancing. Always gotta be, baby. Gotta be. Gotta be. Period. Over 500k people in this. We did that. We did that. We did. You see why I be telling y'all to like shit? You see why? You see why I be telling y'all to like? You know what I'm saying? I see. It was my personal question. Hello, not to. No, baby. I was just being funny, baby. I was just being funny. Don't you can't take me too serious. Girl, I thought you been here before, girl. You know you can't take me too serious. So long as I join, I feel the love. I just love you. God love you too, girl. Sharing is karaoke. What are we sharing? I know y'all not trying to share me. Y'all, I know y'all not trying to share me. Mmm. Mm, you the one I want. You know, I love y'all so much. Y'all don't even know. I love y'all so much. Get me on. Let me talk to y'all. Okay. All right. All right. I, can I talk to y'all? Can I talk to y'all? Can I? Y'all yeah, yeah, mind if I talk to y'all? Y'all yeah, mind if I talk to y'all real quick? Cause, cause you know, you know, y'all my friends. You know, y'all my friends. And I feel like y'all going through what I be going through. Okay. So, you know, as of lately, I really been feeling like. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like myself again. You know, I, I feel like I'm coming back to myself. I feel like I'm finding my flame again. I feel like I'm finding my purpose. I feel like I'm starting to finally love myself. And I think y'all can see it in my skin. Y'all noticing I'm glowing. And honestly, I haven't changed nothing in my skincare. My skincare has been the same. This is just my internal. You know, another thing I want to say too is for all my vegans out there, for all my people that's, you know, very strict on their diet, you know, what really helped me was to be more connected to my ancestors. You know, I started to eat more. Um, what did my ancestors eat? You know, so at first I wasn't really eating meat before, you know, and I'm going to go back to the I'm going to go back to what I was talking about. But, you know, I wasn't really eating meat before, but then I started to eat goat again, like curry goat. The reason why was because my ancestors, that's Jamaican, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, my ancestors used to eat curry goat, you know? Like, I just realized that I can't just, I can't just only be on veggies. Like, you know, I realized I had to really be, be grounded. You know, sometimes we think that, that we have to follow these super strict, these super strict diets and these super strict way of living. Let me tell you, cause now y'all, now, now y'all gonna hear me, right? Sometimes we be feeling like we have to live this super strict way of living in order to be spiritual. We feel like we have to be this super strict way. Like, I got to be vegan, you know, and, and, and some people need to be vegan to be able to get to that connection. But what I start to tell you is that the more you start to really become awakened, you start to realize that the things on this physical level to the, let me tell you something. You start to realize that the things on this physical level, they cannot stop you. Okay, 
You start to realize that. And then what you start to realize is, is that the higher you go within your spiritual thinking, you actually need something to ground you. Ain't that crazy? So some people, it's like it's like you go through that phase of like, you stop eating meat. This is a part of the phase. It's, it's okay. You stop eating meat, right? A lot of times the reason why people go through that phase is because they're learning about their systems around them. They're learning about what they're putting in it, right? And then what happens is, is that they start to become aware of themselves outside of the physical realm. And they start to be like, you know what? I, I don't have to cut that off. I don't have to stop that. That that it's it's a polarity. I'm I'm a human. I'm having a human experience right now, so I don't have to cut myself off from that. Maybe I can be more mindful. And what happens is is that you start to create balance. You start to create balance. You don't start being like super heavy this way, super heavy this way. It's almost like, you know, the more spiritual you get, you start to realize that there are so many connections through all religions. You stop being so uh you start to stop. You stop discriminating so much. You start, you stop discriminating so much. You start to realize that, bro, oh my God, this veganism, like, oh, you got to be vegan to be spiritual. And it's like, nah, bro, it's not that you got to be vegan. It's just for you right now, you may be detoxing. So you got to stop eating this. You know, one thing in my African tradition, sometimes you have to stop eating things for a period of time to detox that. So a lot of y'all are beating yourselves up because it's like, oh my God, I don't meditate every day. Like, baby. Baby, 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 let me tell you something. Not everybody does. Baby, 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 let me tell you something. You thinking, oh my God, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not meditating every day. But my love, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. And this is the honestly, I'm talking to me because I got Virgo and Venus. So it be me and it be me versus me for real. <laughs> it be, it be me versus me for real. And I'm talking to y'all because let me tell you something. This is what Joe Dispenza said, okay? This is what Joe Dispenza said. Joe Dispenza said that once you become aware of a certain thinking pattern that no longer serves you, you've already took the first step at defeating it. So what I became aware of is that I was actually super self-critical and I was weighing myself up against perfectionism. And I didn't like the fact that I didn't make the mark. I didn't like the fact that I didn't make the mark, right? And then I started to realize who would make this mark? Jesus? Who would who would make this mark? This extremely super high mark that you have set for yourself. Who would have made that mark? So when you start to accept yourself for as far as you can go, you'll start to realize like, bro, like I'm doing great actually. I'm doing great, actually. Y'all be 22 mad at yourself because you're not a millionaire. But it's like, bro, you've literally achieved so many things that most people your age haven't done. But because you're 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 judging yourself on a scale. And you know what I blame for that? I blame schools. I blame schools for that. I blame schools for that. Because, first of all, we've been taught from young kids that we are always being graded. We've been taught as young kids that we are always being graded hold on y'all hold on y'all i gotta i gotta put my clothes on y'all ain't even y'all ain't even know bitch child bitch, uh, sh shoo y'all ain't even know your girl's naked and you know what i'm saying so i gotta i gotta because we about to move to the light because i ain't even realized i was gonna be doing a whole live now we doing a whole live at this point right okay I was comfy. Y'all saw me? Give me. Let me tell you why I got on the live. Because I looked good. <laughs> That's why I got on the live. Because your girl looked so good. The light was coming. I was like, boy, I need to. Well, I know they want to see me. You want to see me? You feel me? Okay. All right. So I knew it was a reason. God had me. But you know what happened? God had me looking that good. Because they was like, yo, you got to go talk to them. You feel me? They was like, God, God was like, listen, you look so good that we going we gonna to make you get on live because you need to talk to them. You feel me? Hold on. Can this stay? Hold on, y'all. Stay with me now. Stay with me now. Stay with me now. Okay. All right. Okay. So check me out, right? Check me out. Check me out. When I stopped being when okay, so this was just this was just yesterday that I recognized all this. Okay, so I just want to let y'all know this was just yesterday that I recognized I was being super judgmental on myself, 
And in that moment that I realized I was being so judgmental of myself, I was telling myself, I don't like this. Like, I don't like the fact that I'm being so judgmental. I don't like the fact that I'm getting mad at myself because I'm tired. How many of y'all been tired lately? How, me? How many of y'all been tired lately? How many of y'all have been tired lately? Because I, I, I've been tired as fuck lately. You know what I'm saying? I've been so tired lately. Right? 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 That's what I'm saying. I've been tired too. She's like, huh? Me too. <laughs> right? So, your body is telling you you're tired, but you're getting mad at yourself for being tired. But the thing about it is that you're getting mad at yourself for being tired, but the reason why you're tired is because you're integrating. You know what I'm saying? The reason why you're tired is because you're integrating. But me, I be, I be beating myself up. I be like, why are you tired? Like, you should have been to Pilates. You should have been like this. You know what I'm saying? Again, I'm Jamaican, so maybe that comes from my background. I am Jamaican, and my Jamaican father was very, very like, you got to look like, you got to, you got to, you got to. You know what I'm saying? So I know my, my Caribbean people, my people that's not from America, I know, I, I know how it is, baby. <laughs> Let, let me tell you something. I know how it is, you know? But let me tell you something. Judging yourself like that doesn't help you. Judging yourself like that doesn't help you. Judging yourself like that doesn't benefit you. Judging yourself like that actually holds you back. It actually holds you back. Can I tell you that? It actually holds you back. And the reason why it holds you back is because you're viewing yourself through a light that's not accurate. You're viewing yourself as if you're not making the cut. When in reality, you're actually overqualified, but because your cut is so high, which it should be, of course, but because your cut is so high and you feel like when you don't make it, that it's just like you're not good enough. But that's not, I feel like, I feel like y'all not listening to me. I feel like y'all just looking at me. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I feel like y'all not listening to me. I feel like y'all just looking at me right now. Lexi, what you doing? Somebody pooping. Oh, Lexi right here. You know what I'm saying? He said, we're distracted, Stakes. I can't. I'm sorry. What am I supposed to do? You know why I look like this? Because I'm born on the 5th. That's a little numerology for y'all. That's a little numerology for y'all. So that's another thing. We look and listening and hearing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hey, love, it's been a minute. Hey, love, it's been a What's up, Mike? What's up, Mike? So uh, another thing, too, I want to teach y'all something from my tradition. Okay, I want to teach y'all something from my tradition. My African tradition which is, uh, which is, you know, African, like I said, in my African tradition, and I don't know who needs to hear this. I don't know who needs to, she said, please speak on purpose. That's crazy. Cause that's what I'm talking about right now. In my African tradition, if you do things that are not a part of your destiny, which you came down from the heavens and came on this earth plane to do, if you don't follow through on that destiny, everything else that you try to do will not work for you. For example, if you are supposed to be a model, but you're trying to trade and you're trying to make money as a bartender. You're going to find that you tend to have struggles and you're like, why is everything I do not working for me? The reason why is because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're not doing what you were destined here to do. You're not doing what God brought you here to do. So a lot of times, you know, she <laughs> said, why are you so beautiful though? Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, y'all. Thank you, y'all. Thank you, y'all. But no, for real though, like, you know, I realized that whenever I tried to do things outside of what I'm supposed to do, it just never worked out or it just, it was harder than usual, you know? And the thing about it is that when you do what you're supposed to do, it comes easy to you. La, 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 la. Exactly. Exactly. I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say. How do we find out what we're supposed to do? Um, well, a lot of times as a kid, you know. Like one thing about me as a kid, I've always known that I wanted to be in music. I always, as a kid, I always knew I was gonna be famous too. That's crazy. As a kid, I always knew I was gonna be famous. As a kid, I always knew I was gonna be famous. And the reason why is because when you're a kid, you're connected to the heavens that you just came from. 
Aren't we just supposed to experience life? That is a part of your experience. You get what I'm saying? As a kid, that is when you're the most connected to the heavens. You know? I love your eyes. Scorpio eyes, baby. Scorpio eyes. Cat eyes. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I'm reading y'all comments. I'm reading y'all comments. Yeah, man. So y'all make sure y'all check out my music, man. Y'all make sure. Are you? Do you prefer Starbucks or Dill? You see, you almost caught me. Y'all, you almost. Now, now you getting blocked. Now you getting blocked. Now you getting blocked. Cause you almost got me. You almost got me. Probably screen recording me and ready, ready for me to. Yeah, you almost got me, bro. You almost got me. But <laughs> one thing about me, I took speed reading courses. You feel me? <laughs> about me i took speed reading courses so before my mouth says it my mind reads it and you almost got me brother <laughs> you almost got me you had i had to block you boy you good you good you good at this you good at this i had to block you like when you come up <laughs> listen 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 one thing about me i am an entertainer at heart as a Capricorn, I love Scorpios. Yeah, I know. I Listen, as a Capricorn, I know we be your weakness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We be your weakness. We be showing y'all a part of life that you never knew about. You feel me? How was your childhood? My childhood was amazing. I got to express myself. If you go on YouTube, you can see videos of me making rap songs. You can see videos of me. I got to do everything I wanted to do, which is why I'm so expressive and I still have my childlike spirit. Because as a kid, I was able to explore every single part of me. That's why I still, to this day, still got that credit in me. You feel me? I still got that childlike energy in me. You feel me? I always think you're speaking directly to me because I am. Because I am. When I speak, I speak with conviction. I speak directly to the soul. I speak directly to the spirit. When is your birthday? I don't know if I can tell y'all that. Because you know what? Nowadays, you know, I done learned. You give people your birthday, they able to do, you know, stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I'll tell you this. I am born, um, I am born in Scorpio energy. I'm born in Scorpio. Okay, I'll tell you that. Scorpio. Scorpio. Around, around Libra Scorpio time. That's me. You feel me? Because y'all trying to figure me out. You see, one thing about me as a Scorpio, I ain't trying to be figured out. You feel me? You feel me? One thing about me, I'm not trying to be figured out. You see, and y'all trying... She not lying. I'm not lying. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about me, y'all trying to figure me out. And I don't like that. Because if you figure me out, baby, that's not Scorpio-like. That's not... That's not... That's not 50 Shades of Grey-like. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I gotta keep a little something, mystery. See, y'all think y'all know me all the way. Y'all think y'all know me all the way, but you see, you see where you messed up? Y'all never ask me questions about me. I always talk about you. You see, let me teach you something. You see, I never, I never, I never, I never talk about me. We talk about you. <laughs> she said, where you got your earrings? What if I told you I actually manifested these? Okay, I actually manifested these. Like if I can show my text messages, I literally manifested these, Okay. I asked my friend, I was like, yo, man, these are some earrings that I really want. Like, check them out. I really, my birthday is not November 5th. You know what I'm saying? My birthday is not November 5th. But anyways, um, I got these earrings. I got these earrings. And what happened was I was telling my friend, I was like, yo, man, I really want some of these earrings. I really want some of these earrings. And he was like, let me check them out. If I like them, I might get them for you or whatever. And he never got them for me. He never got them for me, child. He never got them for me. But we, 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 we. Us Scorpios, we don't hold no grudges. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I end up going to one of my friend's house and her 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 mom had the glad had the earrings on. And I was like, man, you know, I was just manifesting those earrings. I was just on the phone with my friend telling her about how I want these earrings. Next thing you know, the lady says, Here you go. Here you go. I, it's not cap. I'm telling you, it's not cap. It's not kept. I take off the earrings. She takes off the earrings and she hands them to me. She says, here you go, sweetie. I said, oh my gosh, I manifested this. Next thing you know, the lady's 64. What if I told you the lady talked to me about Neville Goddard? She said, you ever heard of Neville Goddard? I said, no way. She said, you ever heard of Neville Goddard? I said, you're, I said you're, not, you're not serious right now. You're not serious right now. She said, she said, what? I said, I said, between me and you, I'm in Barbados right now. 
between me and you, I'm in Barbados. See, if you ever watch Neville Goddard's video, there's one video where he talks about how he met Abdullah. And he talks about um, he's in Barbados. So I told her, I said, I'm in Barbados. And she knew exactly what, what book I was talking about. Man. So it's crazy. She, 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 you know, and, and, and now she actually watches my stuff on YouTube. She watches my stuff on YouTube. And you want to know what's so funny? You know what's so funny? She texted me today because she was watching my old lives, right? Listen to this. She texts me today and she says, um, you do lives at 10? <laughs> she said, no, 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 I lied. She said, she said, you do Zooms at 10? I said, no. She said, you don't do Zooms at 10? She said, why did you say you do Zooms at 10 and we got to get on the Zoom at 10? I said, that's just a TikTok joke. She said, you do Zooms at 10? <laughs> she said, you do Zooms at 10? I said, no, I don't do Zoom. She said, you should though. <laughs> I said, nah. I was like, she too cute. She, she too cute. She's too cute, you know? But it's so interesting because these earrings are so, something so, so small, it's easy to manifest something like that instantly. What's up, Mosey? Every morning, every morning, you gotta get on your Zoom. Every morning, you gotta get on your Zoom. Every morning, you gotta get on your Zoom. My cat is in heat right now. So if you hear her, act like you don't hear her, okay? Because my cat is in, is in heat. Watch, listen to this, listen to this. Y'all hear that? You heard that? She in heat right now. Get on your Zoom. We got to get on your Zoom at 10. Another thing, y'all, um, let me tell y'all something. Mine is too. Yeah, bro, what's in the, what? It's that Scorpio. It's that Scorpio moon that's coming. That Scorpio full moon got these cats in heat. Nothing much, about to get some money. That's good. Bro, you are glowing for real. Thank you so much. I just, listen, let me tell y'all something. I've been doing the work. You said, how old are you? You're trying to get me. You're trying to get me. But you know what? It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I'm famous. So, you know, my birthday going to be out there. You know, it ain't that hard to find me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. I'm 23. I'm 23, boo. I'm 23. I'm 23. Y'all can't, y'all can't do no magic on me. You see, my name is Ori, Okay. I'm the exalted one, the, with, the, with the exalted one. I got the exalted, you know what I'm saying? My name is Ori. I am powerful. I am protected. I am covered. You know what I'm saying? He said, not famous at all to you. <clears throat> to you, my boy. To, to, <laughs> to you, my boy. <laughs> you feel me? Have you ever been to Nigeria before? Ori, Orishas don't play with, I'm trying to, listen, let me tell you something, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all, you feel me, I was born with the name Ori, baby, it's something special about me, they, when they brought me here, they said, sweetie, we gonna name you Ori, I was like, word, let's do it, <laughs> I was like, let's do it, my name Ori, and it's crazy, because I just now find out what my name meant, and I'm just now, you know, learning about it, and getting into my, you know, yeah, baby, to you. <laughs> to you. Didn't I just tell you I've been learning to love myself? D didn't I just tell you that? I thought I told you that. I thought I, thought I told you I love myself too much <laughs> to come down to that level. You feel me? Greetings. Got you caught up. Got me fucked up. <laughs> Got me fucked up. You gotta know that's right. Can you show us the best method to manifest? All my books, all my videos on YouTube. Are you telling me to tell you the best method? You new here? You must be new here. Ricky, man. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. What's good, bro? What, what's good, bro? What's good, bro? Why you so mad? Why you so mad, bro? Why you so mad? Why you so mad, bro? You know, Ricky, I think you beautiful. You know, Ricky, I want to get to know you, Ricky. Ricky, I want to get to know you, baby. I want to talk to you a little bit, you know? You know, maybe I can show you some things, Ricky. You feel me? Like, Ricky, what's good? Like, damn, Ricky. <laughs> Why am I like this? You see, you see the Scorpio be ready to romanticize something. Ready to romanticize something. Play that Kevin Gates. Hey, what's your... Yo, I'm the one you don't want, baby. You sound like you say I, I'm the one you don't want, Ricky. Uh, 
Why is you? We got, oh, you got requests. Listen, you come out here saying something crazy, you block. Okay? You come out here saying something crazy, you block. See, she left. See, she was going to say something crazy. <laughs> you said W Riz. I'm saying, you feel me? You said, what's your rising sign? Damn! Why y'all trying to, what you, what, baby, just, just listen. Whatever it is that you're trying to find in that chart, just ask me, baby. I'll tell you. You feel me? Whatever it is that you're trying to find in my chart, baby, just ask me. I'll tell you. <laughs> Whatever it is you're trying to find in my chart, baby, I will tell you. Just don't worry about the moon stuff. Just what you trying to figure out? You trying to figure out how I am emotionally, baby? Passionate. Passionate. A little bit crazy. A little crazy. <laughs> She can't, damn, Ricky, okay, but listen, Ricky, you know, at first I like you, but you right, you're not the one I want. Tell us y'all moon then. Who is y'all? I thought it was just me. You feel me? Split but balance. You have a boyfriend, baby? I got three. I got three, baby. You want to be the four? You want to be the four? <laughs> Yo, what is good? Uh, we having fun today. We is, we is having fun today. Hi from Portugal. Hi from Portugal. Listen, y'all, I just want to let y'all know. Listen, y'all. I'm looking I'm looking for... We're not going to do that here. We're not going to do that here. Because one thing about me as a Scorpio, I tell you I'm looking for somebody. And then you're going to text me, then I'm going to leave you on red. Because I'm really not. <laughs> you feel me? They need to tell you their placements. They too nosy. They too nosy. Three is crazy. Baby, listen, you know... Tree! Tree makes a party. You feel me? South Africa. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't y'all y'all don't like Scorpios? I feel like Scorpio is the sexiest sign. And I'm not saying that because I cause I cause because I'm in between Scorpio and Libra, so I could be Libra if I want to be Libra, but I'm Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Your hair beautiful. Thank you. I've been working a lot on it. I'm a spirit. I will hope so. I will hope you a spirit and not a bot. My mom, when they trick you, baby, don't say that about us. Don't say that about us. Don't say that about us. Your mom is your enemy sign, so that's not fair. I love Scorpio and Libra women. You know what? I, you know what it is though. You know what it is. I do, but I'm a Taurus. Scorpio is my love sign. Cancer. Okay, we gonna do. We gonna do. We gonna. We gonna. We gonna talk about this. Okay, I thought you were a Libra son, baby. I'm on the cusp, right? And then I started talking to people, and they was like, "Nah, you more Scorpio. Where are you from?" Uh, I'm from Florida, but my peoples are from Jamaica and Bahamas. My mama Scorpio, no way. Baby, I must be your mama. Do you know what I'm saying, dog? Uh, my mom's a Scorpio too, though. My mom's a Scorpio too. My dad was a Leo. So my mom, check this out. So my mom's a Scorpio. My mom's a Scorpio. My dad was a Leo, right? So you knew I was, for, and my dad was Jamaican. So you knew I was going to come out <laughs> sexy, you know what I told my mom? I told my mom, I said, I don't know what kind of sex that you and my dad was having, but it must have been good for me to come out. I said, I don't know what kind of sex y'all was having, but for it had to be good for me to come out. <laughs> it had to be good for me to come out. It must have been like, y'all must have been reaching the God. <laughs> For y'all to make a Scorpio? Yeah. So a Scorpio made another Scorpio? Boom, but y'all was having, y'all was, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you something. My mom is a Scorpio. She don't got no filter around the nasty. She don't got no filter. She will tell you about how she slurp, slurp, this, this, all of this stuff. Because she a Scorpio. She ain't got no filter. She ain't got no filter. She just like, she'll, she be like, she be like, you know what? Like, okay, okay, listen. Now listen. Y'all gonna laugh, okay? Listen, do not feel bad for laughing at this joke, okay? Do not feel bad for laughing at this joke. I give you permission to laugh, okay? When my father passed away, okay? My mom is such a Scorpio. And he was a Leo. You know what she said to me? She said, damn, all that dick gonna waste. I said, what? a sex joke in the midst of death right now that is such scorpio how do you make a sex joke 
in the midst of death. <laughs> that is scorpion. That is, she said, she said, all oh, that going to waste. I said, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, your video is giving me strength. Thank you. Nah, my phone was telling me that it was going dead. That was me. Imagine your mama telling you that. Can you please tell me about how my blessings come easily to me having doubts? If you have to ask me to tell you, it's because you already know. I'm just saying. I love your lives. I get excited when I hop on TikTok and your live pop up. Yeah, man, you know, we got to, we got to, we got to have a good time. I wanted to come out here and do something a little different, have a good time, mix a little bit of spirituality in there. You know what I'm saying? Come and show my face and then just show y'all some love, you know, show y'all some love. My friends are accidentally attracted to me. Ooh, I felt that. 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 They, it's like they accidentally fell in love, right? Right? I felt that. That's that right there. You, what's your sign? You either a Libra or you, you must be a Libra, huh? You know what I'm saying? I'm sure your father is resting in paradise. I love you. My father is not resting. This man is actually in the ethers working alongside. So he should be resting, but he working, working. Working in the astral realm, like he should. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because we, 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 we always moving. That's one of the laws. We always vibrate. We always moving. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, do you have a backup account? No, baby. That's just you know, no, baby. I knew it. She's a Scorpio. Oh, he Tristan. He's a Scorpio. I knew. I had to screenshot that. My friends are accidentally attracted to me. I felt that. I felt that. He's a Scorpio. I felt, that's why I felt it so much, huh? That's why. She said, anybody else emotional today? Baby, it's an 11 day. Of course you was going to be emotional. You did a DNA test yourself? Like you went to a doctor? Tell me about me. I'm a Virgo and I believe you. And I don't usually believe in horoscopes. You're very self-critical. So you need to be careful with that. But listen, y'all. I only came on here to show my face. Um, only came on here to, to show some love to y'all. Um, yeah, today is an 11 day. So an 11 day means emotional. If you look at, uh, uh, see you later, beautiful. So, um, uh, yeah, so I love you guys. Make sure y'all go stream the new music. Um, yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all go ahead. Check out the crystal shop. If you have it, link in the bio, my music is there. Y'all go ahead. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on YouTube. Stay connected. All right. I love you guys. And later.